Game started. <clears throat> Slick 16 from Switzerland, right? No, Canada. I'm sorry. I was thinking that was something else. Canada. That's the maple leaf. Okay, here, let's play a move before he gets bored and leaves. <laughs> All right, um, Sicilian. Let's go for the open Sicilian. Yep. I've been playing that bishop uh, b5 move a lot here, but uh, I never really learned that line. But that's uh, the move Magnus plays these days, Magnus Carlsen, so I guess it's probably okay. Ah, so we're getting one of these... Uh, <clears throat> Sveshnikovs or Kalishnikovs? Kalashnikovs. It's a Kalashnikov because he didn't play knight to f6 first. And Check. if he plays knight f6 now, um, I have the option of uh, playing c5. But none of that happened. Uh, we got... <clears throat> now my, my knight here is supported by the bishop. Um, so I don't have to move it. But if I play c6, um, it's just going to be a bit awkward, it seems, by, for developing the other knight, and this knight might get stranded out there on uh, b5. So I'm just retreating it. I could have brought the other knight a bit again, uh, and I'm not sure... Uh, <clears throat> well, look at it. Look at it in the postmortem. But I'm, I wasn't sure if that knight was uh, doing any good there on b5, and it has nowhere to go but uh, a6, or perhaps perhaps a3, or perhaps it could have gone on to d6. Yeah. So I thought he was going to do that, just bring out another uh, <clears throat> piece. But I, I've got a lot of force on the knight, so there's no real threat. Uh, so I'm going to castle, get out of the pen. It's not even really a pen, but uh, I'm going to castle anyway. <laughs> and then I'm going to uh, move this knight to uh, to d5 to unleash the bishop. I can't really uh, play uh, a3 here because, well, he can ignore it because the uh, rook is unprotected in the corner, and I can't really develop this knight until this knight gets out of the way. But um, knight, knight to d5 looks like a good a good move. Although, let's see, knight to d5, knight takes, pawn takes, queen takes, uh, wins a pawn, doesn't it? So maybe, maybe I have to play something else. Knight to, uh, always making my life easier. <coughs> if a knight comes here, then I can just take it. And what else is coming there? Not that it uh, wins material or anything, it just allows me to move my knight <laughs> without uh, losing material. <laughs> so uh, that was a good thing for me. And my king is secure over here. He's He's got a lot of pieces out, but they're not um, attacking my king. So just, just trade off this knight and get the other knight out, and I should be in good shape. Ah, so he's going to leave that pawn as a sacrifice. Maybe not a bad idea. So I still want to develop my knight. Knight to um, e4. He can take it, bishop takes, or he can take the pawn. I take his bishop and then I fork the uh, knight <coughs> and the uh, queen with uh, the move c3. Yeah, so playing this way, um, I just went a pawn. I think. And I don't know if this knight is really going anywhere. I can play c3 and uh, dislodge him from d4 there. C3 is probably a good idea anyway in this position. 
blocking out the queen on this diagonal. So what have we got left? We have uh, light squared bishops, and uh, so he's actually got the better bishop once it develops, because his uh, center pawn is on a dark square. But uh, uh, my bishop has a lot of scope. It's not that bad. His knight is defended on yes, yeah, so a knight that knight on d4 is a good post for the knight. So I think I do have to kick it with uh, c3. And what else is going on here? He could try and gang up on the uh, my advanced d pawn, my extra pawn, which uh, I would try to hold on to. Oh, you know, another idea he has is to play f4 here. f5, hitting my bishop. And driving it back, it doesn't have a lot of good squares. f5, I, bishop to f3 is possible. Knight takes, knight takes. And then I can push on. I don't like that. I guess uh, f5, bishop to uh, d3. And then he can play e4. Oh, but he did none of that. Okay, he's supporting his pawn. I'm gonna I'm gonna kick the knight, as I said. And uh yeah, he can come to the square um D six, good square for that knight. So where where do I want? I think I, I just want to develop my knight normally. He's going to play knight d6. I retreat the bishop. He can then push on with um, can then push on with e4. A bishop uh, c2 to b3 supports the pawn, if need be. Aha! Uh -huh. He's going to tempt me into uh, <laughs> doing something here. Let's see. I can't unpin immediately because queen to d3 runs into the fork, pawn to e4. Okay, so let's kick the bishop first. I may, I may go ahead and play um, g4 here and break the pin. Um, because that's a very uncomfortable pin, since he always has this threat of um, e4. And uh, anyway, after bishop to um, <clears throat> bishop to g6, I have knight takes um, knight takes e5. He undefended it. So maybe he can throw in the move e4 now. He might be thinking about that. I'd probably move my knight rather than uh, try and take the bishop and mess up my kingside pawns further. Yeah, okay, he did play that. Okay, um, so how about knight to um, h4? He can attack it with the queen. Okay, so I'm going knight to um, d4 instead. Now I'm going to take his bishop, so he should probably retreat it. I mean, messing up my pawns is certainly worth a, uh, worth a piece, unless there's a tactic that gets the, the piece back immediately. Yeah, so what have we got here? Um, let's um, put pressure on the E file. He's got, where's his knight? His knight can come into C4, knight B5 is not much of a threat, but knight C4 is a problem maybe. I can kick it with the move uh, b3, I guess, if he goes knight c4. 
I can't really play knight, knight f4, f5. I, I would sort of like to play it, but uh, there's not much going on there. Okay, bring another rook over. So I can't play, you know, I'd kind of like to play queen e3, but knight to um, c4 is annoying in case of queen e3. Yeah, he goes there immediately. But when he goes there now, boom, boom, and I get to kick it first, right? See, I couldn't play this move b3 until he put his knight there because uh, my pawn in c3 was hanging. But now that he's been so kind as to put his knight there, I can kick it. Or I just need to make sure it's not going somewhere awful. It can go to... Um, it can go to a3 and hit my bishop, and I would have to ignore it and play the move c4. Oh, his idea is to go here. Well, that's not bad. Okay, so knight f3 check, knight takes, pawn takes, hits my queen, uh, but I'm threatening to take his rook. So that means, actually... Can I take that pawn? Bishop takes pawn, knight of three check, knight takes knight, bishop takes bishop, and I can't take back. Let's just play um, c4 and defend my uh, <coughs> advanced pawn on d5. I can take the knight if he goes here, check. Because after pawn takes, queen takes, uh, rook leads to checkmate. Okay, so he defended um, he defended against the checkmate. So now uh, knight f3 is a, is a threat. Knight f3, knight takes f3, pawn takes f3, queen, I guess the queen goes to the side. Uh, well, I could still play queen takes rook. Queen takes queen, rook takes queen, rook takes rook, and come out uh, materially even. Is there something better? Can I can I get away with grabbing the pawn now? Bishop takes pawn. If uh, knight f3 check, I can play queen takes knight. And uh, what else is there? If bishop takes, queen takes knight f3, queen takes knight again is is good. And now I can I can play knight f4 perhaps. Okay, so knight f3 check, queen takes knight. Knight takes there, aha. Okay, so queen takes rook check. Queen takes, rook takes queen check, rook takes, then pawn takes knight. Wins a, check. a piece. Check. It's a, it's a tactic that's kind of easy to miss. Now he gets to activate his rook. So he can come here to um, <clears throat> e5, I guess. Pick up another pawn. What should I do? I should probably defend the knight for a second, right? Rather than give up another pawn. And then um, I can come in with my king or a pawn and, and chase that chase that knight away, chase that rook away. Okay, if he goes pawn hunting, uh, I'm just going to uh, push here. Ah, I could have taken the rook. <laughs> well, that was completely silly. He put his rook there where I can take it with the knight. <laughs> oh my. Oh my.
Hmm. Okay, I, I kind of got myself in a little bit of a box here with the knight. Um, the knight can go to uh, here, actually, knight to a1, a8, because if he takes it, I'll queen with check. And then I can go to uh, b6, knight a8 to b6 to defend the pawn. And then once it's defended, then I will deliver a check with the rook here. Play rook to uh, check. Play rook to a um, rook to e8 here to win the other rook or get a queen. Okay, well, didn't win a rook, but it won a piece, I guess, so it's good enough. <laughs> Would have been over a lot quicker if I had just taken his rook. He can never take my knight because I get a queen. It's one of those annoying things. So I just can uh, easily bring my king up and... Uh, help the pawn promote. Server announcement. There's no harm in him taking this pawn because his pawns can't uh, get past my sentinel here on uh, <clears throat> C2. Check. And let's see. Oh, he has a move, so it's not checkmate. Uh, knight, just get the knight out of the way, and then, then queen here will be checkmate. Black resigns. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, that was that was an interesting game. I guess I will upload it and do a postmortem. See you guys later. Bye.